Welcome to the HeatWeave Mat Installation Overview. I'm your host, Colin Marshall, and if you are watching this video, then you are just about ready to get started with your HeatWeave Mat installation. This video is intended to give a general overview of the installation process. Be sure to read through the provided installation manual for additional information not contained in this video. This video will highlight the steps needed for a proper heat weave mat installation. We'll cover what's included in the mat kit, planning and preparation, installation, floor coverings, heat weave sun stats, and final testing. What's included in the kit? Each kit contains everything needed to complete an installation, including a tape mat, mesh in the blue heating wire, heat weave sun stat, a lab mount to monitor during the installation, small tape, the manual, and this DVD. Let's go ahead and get started. First, fully read the provided installation manual. The first step in planning is to determine the location of the sun stand. Make sure this location is open and accessible and not behind closed doors, in a closet, or in a cabinet. Once this is determined, a dedicated power line must be run to this location. Be sure to follow all local and electrical building codes when doing this. Drill or saw holes for conduit at the bottom wall plate. One hole is for routing the power leads and the other is for the thermostat sensor. These holes should be directly below the electrical box used to secure the thermostat. For most installations, we recommend a 4x4 electrical box with a single gang mud ring. Test the mat and thermostat sensor to ensure no damage occurred during shipping. We'll do this by using a digital multimeter. Set the meter to 200 ohms and connect probes to the power leads. For a 120 volt mat, connect to the white and black leads. For 240 volt mat, connect to the blue and black leads. The ohm value measured should match what is on the tag. Record this value in the installation manual. Repeat this process for each of the leads and the ground, indicated by a green tag. These values should be open or infinite. The meter used indicates this by displaying an eye. Next, test the sensor. The sensor is located under the sunstat in the box. Set the multimeter to 20,000 ohms. Connect the probes to the leads of the sensor. This value will vary based on the temperature of the room. Refer to the sensor chart in the installation manual to verify the results. When the sensor measures 75 degrees in the room, the meter should read approximately 10,000 ohms. Before installing the mat, be sure to thoroughly clean the floor, removing all debris. Begin installing the mat by feeding the power leads up to the control location. Do the same with the sensor. The loudmouth monitors the heating wire during the entire installation. If the heating wire is cut or damaged during the installation, the loudmouth will sound an audible alarm. Repair the damaged area before applying the finished floor covering. Connect the leads of the mat to the lab mount. When connecting multiple mats, connect them to the lab mount in series. A factory splice connects the cold lead to the mat. It is important not to bend this connection. Depending upon the thickness of the mortar used, it may be necessary to chisel out a portion of the subfloor to recess the factory connection. Hot glue this into place. The mat can be manipulated to fit any type of area using a combination of rollovers and turns, including the 90 degree flip turn and the 180 degree back to back turn. The wire can also be removed from the mesh entirely to cover odd shaped areas using a fill in technique. The outside runs of tape securing the wire to the mesh are peel and stick tape. Once the mat is placed in its final position, remove the backing and secure to the floor. Hot glue or staples can be used to secure the mesh if necessary. 
Do not route mat under vanities or permanent fixtures. Stay four to six inches away from walls, vents, and the wax ring on toilets. Once the end of the mat has been reached, attach the end splice to the floor with hot glue. In most cases, excess wire can be routed around the perimeter in the four to six inch gap along the walls, staying at least two inches away from other installed mat, built-ins, and walls. Once mat is secure, it's time to install the sensor. Position the sensor parallel between the heating elements. Do not cross over the heating wire. Hot glue the sensor to the floor. At this time, perform another resistance check of all components. Record these values in the installation manual. Once completed, reconnect the loudmouth. We recommend using a latex modified 3 8 inch thick thin set. We also recommend using a plastic trowel, such as our cable trowel. A self-leveling mortar can be used when installing under laminates, hardwoods, carpets, etc. Regardless of the floor covering, the mat must be fully encapsulated in a mortar bed. When cleaning grout joints, care should be taken not to cut the wire. Once the flooring is installed, take another resistance reading and record the values in the installation manual. To install the Heatweave Sunstat thermostat, first remove the faceplate from the base. Take caution not to bend the internal connection pins. It may be necessary to shorten the lead from the mat, making sure to leave at least 8 inches of wire for ease of connection. Connect the load leads to the mat and the line leads to the power in from the breaker. Connect the sensor to the sensor terminals. If installing relays or multiple mats to a single sunstat, refer to the installation manual for additional information. Once all connections are made, secure the base to the electrical box using the included screws. Reattach the faceplate to the base, taking care not to damage the internal connector pins. At this time, briefly turn on the sunstat to test the system. Do not leave the thermostat on for an extended period of time. Doing so may compromise the thinset during the curing process. Refer to the thinset manufacturer's recommendations for minimum cure times. Congratulations! You have finished this installation overview and are now ready to tackle your heat weave tape mat installation. If there is additional work to be done in this area, be sure to notify other tradespeople there is an electric radiant system installed. We are confident you will enjoy your new warm floor for many years to come. Remember to read the installation manual fully before beginning. For additional technical support, please visit our website to view our installation manuals, layout library, and common frequently asked questions. Thank you for watching and enjoy your new Heatweave Tape Mat Warm Floor.